The Okai Su brand of air purifiers became super popular in 2021, after a number of clips that featured these devices went super viral. Even responses to these clips have over 5 million views, and at its peak, there were more people searching for Okai Su than Kowei, a company that's been making air purifiers since 1989. Now, it's now been confirmed that Okai Su no longer exists, and their website is completely offline. Now, before I give some advice to owners of these devices, I first want to give you some backstory. I reviewed this Okaisu Air Max 10L in July of 2023. When I tested this device, I said that its air cleaning performance was subpar compared to competitors. And when you account for the extra cost for filter replacements and energy costs for this device, it will cost a lot more. In short, I tried to warn consumers away from this viral device. Now, many people did read our review, but shortly after we published it, our entire website was decimated in Google search. So most people just came across these totally biased reviews from people who'd received this product for free. Really helpful Google. Anyway, I digress. I wasn't aware, but at the time, the company behind Lavoie had actually filed a patent lawsuit against Okai Su, saying that they had copied a number of their models. They argued that there had been a design patent infringement on the Okai Su Cayman 608 and the Apollo 7-1A. Now, I'm no lawyer, but these devices look mighty similar to those from Lavoie, so I can totally understand their frustration. A year later, the Okaisu Corporation declared bankruptcy by filing Chapter 11, voluntary petition which allowed it to keep trading and repay its creditors. This is the same type of bankruptcy that the air purifier brand Molecule filed in October 2023. By this point, Okaisu had debts with big name companies like Amazon, who they owed $900,000. So in December 2023, Amazon joined forces in a conversion motion to request to convert the reorganization bankruptcy into a liquidation bankruptcy, known as Chapter 7. This was accepted by the court and the legal process is still ongoing to provide compensation for creditors. While the brand page is still live on Amazon, None of the devices, including filters, are available for sale. So what does this mean for owners of OK Sue air purifiers? Well, the first thing is that the warranty isn't worth anything. Now, these devices often came with warranties of up to five years, which must have seemed impressive at the time. But the reality is the warranty is not worth anything if there's no company that exists at the end. Now, currently, there are generic filters available for different models of Okaisu air purifiers. But over time, demand will drop for filters for these devices. So it's likely these third party manufacturers are not going to keep making these filters for too long. So if you did want to use your device for the long term, I would recommend buying in bulk filters now because they might not be available in future. The fact that Lavoit says that Okaisu ripped off their design for some of their devices means that some of the models like the Cayman 608 and the Apollo 718 might be able to use the same filters from Lavoie. Now, I don't have these devices from OKSU, so I'm not able to test that for yourself, but if you're watching this video and there's no generic filters available anymore, this might be one angle you can take. In a recent video I produced, I gave advice on how to avoid buying a dud air purifier, and that was to stick to brands that had been around a while. And the OKSU bankruptcy just proves my point. There's no point a product offering a massive warranty if the company doesn't exist anymore. And the reality is, in our industry, there's always new brands turning up and promising a lot. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you've got an Okaisu device and what you think about this whole issue about the company going bankrupt.